Greetings, John Banks Jr. here again with another short addition that I'm adding on to what I've already done. And the purpose of what I'm trying to do here is to share with someone out there what I've been able to do with my life and how I've gone within the past oh, 16 months, I believe, roughly around 16 months, transformed myself from where I was at to where I am now. And if you've ever seen any of my previous videos, I'm sure you can tell that there's a big difference in how I was and how I is, <laughs> so to say. Uh, the things that one has to go through, you know, they're all, to me, it's all a, a learning experience. Like sometimes you, you get into different network marketing uh, programs, and when you do that, some, oh, well, they work for you, and some, they just don't work for you. And that's just not, and that's not to say that you have failed. It's just that you have learned. I mean, at least I have learned. What I mean by that is, I have done so many different things in my lifetime, period, that I never look at things now as being a failure. I mean, before I would just say, oh, well, I just couldn't do that. Well, now I understand that it's not only that, oh, I just couldn't do that, because I believe that if you show me how to do something, or if I show you how to do something, you can do it just as well as anyone else can do it. So it's not that you fail, it's just that you learn. So when I was speaking to someone recently about uh, being in different marketing ventures and finding out that they were spending a lot of money, I told them, you know, not to fret on that. Because having started out in network marketing in 1972 and having been in and out, and but always learning and always experiencing and developing and growing, it's all a part of life. So I don't know how much money I've spent or, or even considered wasted what some would consider a waste in different marketing programs and ideas and ventures only to find out that eh, I just didn't have what it took to do that. It just didn't work out for me. It just wasn't for me. Whatever the reason was, it was an experience and education, something that I learned from. And during these past 16 months, I have learned a whole lot about self-development and what you do and how to grow and who to listen to and what what helps so when i'm walking around like i go to on these um meditative walks and i'll have my little ipod and it's loaded up with motivational speakers so i can listen to something that's positive because the more that i listen to positive uh tapes and self-development speeches and shared experiences and surrounded myself with individuals that were spiritually inclined and uh, full of positivity, the more it helped me be positive. Because one thing's for sure, if you hang around with people that are going to be negative, eventually, no matter how positive you are, you can say that you're trying to help them out or whatever, that negativity is going to wear off on you. So you'll either get tired of being around those negative people because it's clashing with your positivity, positive en energy. Sometimes you may feel like you just get drained after being around some people. And those, and that's because it, it, it's drains you of your positivity. It drains you of your life. And when you run out of it, then you got to go and recharge that battery again so that you got more positivity. But you got to learn that. You know, just lead people to their own ways and let them do what they feel they want to do. Oh, something that I wanted to share with you. One thing that you might consider doing to uh, start off on your self-development or your positivity, because if you can change your mind, you can change your life, is go to your dictionary and find the word impossible. And do like I did. Got an old dictionary here. Got a couple around here. Do like I did. And just find the word impossible and then just get yourself a black magic marker. I've heard of people cutting the word out, but you can just block, block, blot out the word impossible. Don't no longer let it be something that will limit you. I mean, there's a there is a poster 
or a printing where a photograph where someone just said impossible even the word itself says I am possible true but it just feels so good to just blot it out of the dictionary so you no longer have to think about that because all things are possible if you can just believe it God bless you and I'll be back again peace <laughs>